Hi everybody, my name is Brenna and welcome to today's video. We are gonna be talking about these beautiful Black Star Canyon boots and I could not be more excited. Plus, for a lucky lady out there watching this video within the first two weeks of it being posted, you have a chance to win a brand new pair in your size. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? I am ready, let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm joined by my wife, Brenna, today. The majority of the boots that I look at on this channel are, are of course male because that's what I am. So we don't get a good chance to look at some female boots without Brenna's help. So super grateful that uh, Brenna is here today and also I'm super excited too because this is also a giveaway video. Yeah, we love doing giveaways. We can just give back something to you guys. It's so cool to be able to work with brands to bring that to y'all. Speaking of working with brands, this video is also sponsored by Blackstar, but it's in our contract with them to approach this in a very objective and honest way so that you guys can get the most value out of this video. And with that, What's the next part that we need? Uh, it's the rundown. So here we are running down on these beautiful canyon boots by Black Star, and you will see that they are full grain leather. You can smell it. They smell really good. <laughs> they smell incredible. If you're getting it at like Country Outfitter, Boot Barn, Shepler's, they're gonna call this red, but in my opinion, it's more of like a peachy and an orange and like a cream. But just so you guys know, it's not necessarily red red mm -hmm. it's like a, a red orange more of a brick but we do have a snip toe which i think is just so freaking cute on these little booties are you kidding me a little snip toe i know yes. right with the overlay of the cream and orange on the toe too yeah they're only nine inches tall which makes them perfect for me i don't have to worry about fitting them over my calves so i will take that and i do think that the overlay with a little arrow detail and on the pull tabs is very cute i really like the arrow accents it's just something extra you know it gives that that little bit of like personality which I think is so cute but we do have a nice one and five eighths inches stacked leather heel which is really nice just again showing the quality of the boot it does have a good year well it does have um, the wood pegs and the brass you guys know you can get a boot resold 100 times and I feel like I'm gonna wear these so much that we're probably gonna need to do that so it's great to know that that's uh, a part of it you can see that the lining is leather but I am very excited about what I'm seeing here yeah and that is the cell sole insole oh you're taking it out it's yeah you got to take it out because these blue dots on the bottom are like trademarked for this brand oh yeah that's really cool and you can see it's the uh the twisted x that's kind of like their thing with a little barbed wire on there black star is owned by the twisted x brand which is right. why they are using their insoles in this boot and then even underneath that you have an extra padded footbed not only are you oh, getting yeah. padding from this insert footbed itself is padded i like that though as someone who's used to wearing fashion boots it's nice, you know, because you get that extra padding. And it does say that this is antibacterial, which means it probably will keep the smell down. Hopefully. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing to just mention is that these are made in Mexico, and the price is around $340. So keep that in mind when you're checking these boots out. I mean, right off the bat, I can, I can see the quality. Okay, it's my favorite part of doing boot reviews. I get to wear them. <laughs> Let's try them on. All right, so we have the Black Star Canyon on my feet right now. They feel good. Uh, they feel very comfy right off the bat. Uh, they don't feel that heavy. They feel like I would be able to walk in them. They feel a tiny bit big. I will wear probably, you know, like slightly thicker socks with these, but I don't think it's anything that would, that should throw you off. I wouldn't say order a half size down. I think they would be too small then. Um, probably the last is just a little bit wider or something with these. Um, they do feel very comfy though. Um, I like where they hit on my calf. I think it's really cute. Um, and I would wear these with jeans or dresses or whatever. I just think they're really flattering. They don't feel heavy. That insole is really nice. Um, I can feel how it just kind of like cushions my heel really nicely and I just appreciate that. I appreciate a good heel cushion. 
All right, so here we have the point of view um, from what it would be if you were wearing these shoes. Um, I think that the overlay looks really nice. I don't think that the snip toe is too much. Like sometimes when you have a snip toe, it's like aggressive if you wanna wear like a dress or a skirt or something. But I actually think that this is cute. It's like a little bit more mild, I would say, of a snip toe. Look at me as a little close up here. You can see all the different colors and how cute it is. Um, the little arrows. Pull tabs are great getting them on. Easy peasy, no problems. All right, y'all, so you've seen the highlights, but you know, if you're gonna wear a boot, it's not just gonna happen for one minute. So let's go ahead and take these uh, out to our extended test and see what happens next. It was off to the West Coast for an adventure exploring the beautiful city of Seattle. And first things first, I need some coffee. So we stopped in Wonderground to try some of their mushroom infused coffee. And it really doesn't taste like mushrooms at all. It just tastes like great coffee. I had to pick up a bag for myself. I promise this literally isn't an ad. With my need for caffeine satisfied, it was time to explore the big, big world and find some big ass boots. This random display in Georgetown of Seattle used to be for a Western themed gas station, but that went out of business and then the big boots were moved here in Oxbow Park in 2003. Next it was time to go downtown to the Pioneer Square District to see some Native American and Indigenous art at the Stonington Gallery. There we met up with my sister Geneva, who works in the gallery. This totally cool transformation totem pole grabbed my attention immediately. In ceremonies, transformation masks were used for storytelling to display different characters or to show how one character transformed. This totem pole by Junior Henderson is the raven transforming into the hunter of the woods, and Geneva showed us how it worked. It was pretty cool. We also saw the Alley High Prince, Little Pine, and Rocky. This amazing Preston Singletary totem is the story of the two ravens. It's about his traditional indigenous family meeting his wife's Nordic family and how their child is actually a combination of both. There were also realistic glass sculptures by Raven Sky River, with one being a collaboration with Kelly O'Dell. Everywhere we turned, there was so much spirit and life in this art. I definitely recommend stopping into Stonington Gallery for your next visit to Seattle. Or, I mean, you can visit them in the links in the description of the video too. There was one last stop we had to make before heading home. It's the most touristy of all tourist attractions in Seattle. The Space Needle. This was constructed for the 1962 World's Fair and still draws over 1 million visitors per year. Like us. <laughs> but there is a newer section that's been added within the last four years that we needed to experience, even though we lived there before. <laughs> the glass floor. The whole room rotates with gears, and it's so scary to look down hundreds of feet below. Oh my god. Once you get used to it, though, it's kind of peaceful. All in all, I had a great visit to Seattle in these Black Star Canyon boots. I'd do it again. Brenna, Brenna, Brenna. That was fun. That was a fun trip to Seattle, fun that extended fun. test. So much fun. <laughs> Tell me about this boot. What do you like about it and where do you think they could improve? Okay, so let's start with the things that I like about it. Okay. So freaking cute. I mean, look at it. How could you not? It's so cute. I love it. I loved wearing them. Yeah, the design is awesome. Yeah, they looked good. Um, they felt really comfortable when I was wearing them. Um, the insole that uh, the cell stretch 
It's super comfy. You could wear these right from day one and keep going. It was so awesome. I loved wearing these. Um, I also liked they weren't too high. Like maybe that's just part of the look of them, but I feel like they looked great. The heel height was perfect for wearing them for long periods of time. My legs didn't get tired or anything like that. It was awesome. And we did a lot of walking that day. We did a lot of walking. The things that didn't necessarily wow me. My big toe found its way kind of in between the the boot and the I want to say like where the boot attaches to the sole. There's some there was something weird happening in there that was very uncomfortable and my toe was kind of like rubbing into that strange groove. So you're but, saying where the removable insole met the lining of the boot on the inside, there was just a little gap that you kind of fell in. Yeah. Okay. And I can feel it now when I put my finger in there, there's like a centimeter gap that runs around that my toe was kind of like rubbing into yep. and that was very uncomfortable. Did that happen straight away or after you were wearing it a while and then the insole sort of compressed after an all day sort of thing? It was that. And then when yeah. you come back at it, like the next day, it kind of lifts up and you don't have that experience right away? Yeah, okay. exactly. It wasn't all the time, it wasn't right from the beginning. So there was that, uh, the inside, or you have the the lining of the insole started coming off oh, yeah, a little the, bit. The top of the insole I noticed in this boot starting to come off a little, um, which isn't ideal. It's gonna be uncomfortable underneath your sock yeah. uh, once it comes down and so once it, feels it starts. It like your sock is rolling down. Yeah. It's like a strange feeling, but that's easily, like fixable, you probably tape that or, or glue, glue it. Yeah, or I would something. recommend you probably glue it back down, um, or that Black Star uses a stronger glue on the lining on top there. Yeah. Um, and then also, I noticed once when you took your boots off that because of this black lining, it stained your socks black. Yeah. Which isn't unusual. I mean, a lot of companies that you know dye their leather that they use in the linings. It stained socks. So it's happened with Ranch Road with me, it's happened with Chisos, Chisos has red linings, and now it's happened with Black Star. Um, is it a big deal? I think it mostly came out in the wash. It wasn't really that big of a deal, but if I was going to someone's house where you know you take your shoes off and you've got like black all over your socks, it's not cute. But it's <laughs> not a reason to not buy these boots. You know, I I love these boots. Mm -hmm. You know, the things that we mentioned happened after a long period of wear. I was wearing these for a while yeah. before we we did that extended test. Yeah, you've had these boots for months. For I think months. this is probably the <laughs> longest extended test. This is the extendedest <laughs> of extended tests. We just recorded a day, <laughs> but you've had these boots since, geez, uh, March or something like that, and it's now October. So, yeah. like, you've had these a while. I wore these all summer, y'all. Mm -hmm. All freaking summer. Yep, she's she's loved wearing them. I love these uh, In fact, guys, we've lived, this is our second house since we did the first impression. So, <laughs> we've had those boots for, for long that long. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say, these boots can do pretty much anything. They are the most comfortable boots I have put on out of the box that have stayed comfortable. That's a big achievement. This guy makes me wear a lot of different kinds of boots. I have a lot of different kinds of shoes. I wear sneakers, unlike him. Um, I wear I wear it all, and these are so comfortable. I cannot even begin to tell you how badly I want these in every color. <laughs> I want this, the cell stretch or whatever it is, this insole, I want it in everything. Like, I love these shoes. <laughs> so even though you had a little bit of a gap in both of these boots or just one of them? Just this one. Okay, so maybe it was like a, a defective insole or that was cut a little short or something. So even though you had that issue, um, you still think that these are one of the most comfortable boots that you have. Oh, for sure, these are the most comfortable boots that I own. Awesome, what a review, guys. <laughs> what a review from Brenna. And you guys have a chance to enter to win a pair for yourself. That's right, this is a ladies only giveaway. We don't do that very often here on the channel, but I'm super excited to 
have the deal with Blackstar to make it available to you folks out there. And here's what you have to do to enter. Number one, like this video right now so more people see it. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And number three, fill out the form at the link in the description with your email and I got some questions for you. And then on October 22nd, I will announce the winner of these Black Star Canyon boots on a Boots and Ballads live stream event where I'll be playing music, talking boots, and so much more. So be sure to be there on October 22nd. You guys are the best. Brenna, thank you so much for helping me out with this video. I'm so glad you like these boots. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys on October 22nd. Peace, guys. Black Star, Black Star, won't you show me where you are? Take me to the canyon. I know it's not that far, and I will sleep in the shade of the moonlight, safe from harm. Resting in your comfortable arms, Black Star. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video up here that I did with Brenna? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. You are the best. Yes.